Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Unveiled in the year 2010, the Su-57 is Russia's first fifth generation multi-role fighter jet. It is reported to be in same categories as America's F-22 Raptor and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. The aircraft was originally designated T-50 or Park FA and was a joint project between Russia and India. The fighter jet took its first flight on January 29, 2010. Later, India dropped out of the program after repeated delays and demands for more financial contribution to the program and refusal by Russia to share the software source codes. Russia continued development of its own which is now known as Su-57. The fighter jet is expected to feature all the capability of a fifth generation fighter aircraft such as radar evading stealth the ability to cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburners advanced avionics and a powerful multi mode radar system the su57 is a large twin engine heavy fighter jet with both air to air and air to ground capabilities the aircraft's airframe leading and trailing edges are designed to reduce radar cross section along with the use of radar absorbent materials and composite the fighter jet has a glass cockpit with 215 inch main multifunctional lcd display a smaller multifunctional display and a digital control panel to supplement the primary display the cockpit has a wide angle 30 degree by 22 degree heads up display the primary controls are the joystick and a pair of throttles with all the major functions controlled with otas The aircraft features an internal weapons bay which will further improve the stealth characteristic in non stealthy mode the aircraft can also carry weapons externally on its wings and fuselage the aircraft has two large main bays and two small bays for air to air combat the su57 can carry four beyond visual range missiles in its two main weapons bay and two short range missiles in the side bays it is also expected to carry wimple r37 a long range hypersonic air to missile having a range between 150 to 398 kilometers it has been designed to shoot down strategic aerial assets such as awaks and refuelers once the adversary's awaks is down the fighter jets have to turn on their radars making them vulnerable to detection the destruction of tanker would further limit the adversary's aircraft's operational range Therefore the addition of Wimple R37 missile is going to greatly boost the Su57 capability. The fighter jet features N036 AASA radar and L402 Himalayas electronic countermeasure system. The N036 radar consists of a main nose mounted radar and two side looking X band AASA radar. The main radar will have 1514 TR modules. and the side looking radar will have 404 tr modules embedded in the cheeks for increased angular coverage it will also feature 101 ks a toll electro optical sensor which consists of infrared search and track directional infrared counter measures ultraviolet missile approach warning system thermal imager for low flight altitude and landing and navigation and targeting pod the irst is mounted on the starboard side in the front of cockpit and can track multiple targets simultaneously the initial version of su57 is powered by two saturn al 41 f1 turbofan engine with thrust vectoring the engines are capable of generating dry thrust of 88.3 kN and 142.2 kN with after burner The future versions of Su-57 will be equipped with Isdalia 30 engines which are capable of generating dry thrust of 107.9 kN and with afterburner 171.7 kN. The fighter jet can attain maximum speed of Mach 2 and can super cruise at Mach 1.3. The Su-57 has a range of 3500 km at subsonic speed. and 4500 km from two outboard fuel tanks at supersonic speed the fighter jet offers a range of 1500 km and 
3500 km at the subsonic speed. It has service ceiling of 66000 feet and G limits of plus 9. On 25th December 2020, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced that Su-57 had entered service upon delivery of the first production aircraft to one of the aviation regiments of the Southern Military District. On 28th December 2022, a batch of new Su-57 fighter jets were handed over to the Russian Ministry of Defense by the United Aircraft Corporation. There is no official confirmation on the number of fighter jets till now delivered to Russian Air Force. However, it is being expected to be around 5. The UAC is further expanding the production capacity of Su-57. The Rostec CEO has confirmed that a large-scale modernization project is being implanted to significantly increase the production of Su-57 fighters. The annual production of 15 aircraft per year is planned. The full rate of production is expected to be achieved by the year 2024. The Russian Ministry of Defense has planned to buy 76 Su-57 aircraft, out of which 22 aircrafts are planned to be delivered by the end of year 2024. USC has also planned to manufacture all 76 aircraft by the end of year 2028. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.